Good afternoon fellow Plexers. This is an unscripted video to compare my existing Plex server on a Synology DS1520 NAS with Plex in a Docker container to a new Unraid server with a 11th gen um, Intel processor. So the CPU in my NAS is a Celeron J4125 which has the Intel UHD Graphics 600 iGPU. That iGPU is limited. It will not transcode 4K H.265 media, but it will transcode H.264 4K media, and both H.264 and H.265 at 1080p or 720p levels. It really makes a great platform for the NAS, but as many of us who run those Synology NASs, we wish it had a better processor. So I decided to grab an in Intel NUC and install Unraid on it in kind of an unconventional way. I learned that you could use just a simple flash drive as the one disk array drive, which enabled me to use the NMVE, NVMe um, slot and the SATA slot for two SSDs in a cache pool. So my container, Plex container, runs on the cache pool and I've also set it up to do transcoding to RAM which makes for a fast little Plex server. I am not using Unraid for storage and I mount my Synology NAS um, so that that container, that, that Plex container can grab the media from my NAS. The end, re end result right now is I have identical libraries. I've added all my existing libraries to the Unraid Plex server. So you'll see I have movies with a library titled Unraid 63 and one titled Walker 63, which is my Synology NAS. So I've got the activity window open. I just added a 12-part TV series. Um, each episode is about three gigabytes in size. Um, and I want to show you how quickly the new server processes a scanned-in TV show. And then I want to run some transcoding tests between the two libraries with my small test 4K library. So off screen, I am going to scan the Synology NAS library first and then the Unraid one. So I'm scanning for new files on both servers right now and you'll see the activity start. So I will pause this video every once in a while so we can just grab timestamps. We're at 2.38 right now for the start of it. And you'll see I'm already detecting intros for the show The Nevers on the Unraid server. The Synology server hasn't even got that far. It's just scanning all the libraries. Okay, now it's updating the metadata for the Nevers, and now it's detecting intros. So we'll watch as the, the little indicator circles. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, we're about I'm a third of the way or more on the Unraid server with detecting intros, and we haven't gotten that far on the Synology NAS. I can't show you how intensive the NAS is working, but I can show you what's going on with the Unraid server. So it's not really working that hard detecting things, and you can see it's using the GPU and not the iGPU. In Unraid, this section will light up if you're using hardware transcoding on the iGPU. So if I actually go into the dashboard for the Synology server, you can see what the CPU is doing here to detect those intros. It's really not overworking itself at all. And we can look at the same thing with the Unraid dashboard. You can see how quieter things are, how less intensive the CPU is working. 
All right, so let's pause the video again. Well, actually, I'll just keep talking because the intros are almost finished on the um, Unrate server. So this is past the three quarter mark before the, well, it finished before the Synology NAS got to the one quarter mark. So our timestamp is 241 and we only started this three minutes ago. So I'll pause the video until the Synology NAS is close to finishing detecting intros. And we're back to check in on the Synology NAS process. 243, we're past the halfway mark. So it's not as if the Synology NAS is taking an excruciating amount of time to process this TV show. But the Unrate server is just that much quicker where if you were scanning in a dozen TV shows at once, naturally it'll finish significantly early. So let me pause it again until this finishes. I may not catch the very end of it, but I'll come right back when it's done. The Synology NAS server just finished at 245. So I think if my quick math is correct, for one TV show, of 12 episodes. It took three minutes for the Unraid server to scan it in and detect the intros and seven minutes for the Celeron processor. Overall, not a huge difference for, you know, one show added or one episode added, but if you were adding 400 shows to a, a, a new Plex install, it would be qu significantly quicker on the new one. So what I'm going to do is show you the next little experiment. So this is the Plex HTPC client app, and I'm going to use this off screen to do a little transcoding test with this movie. Let me start it up and pause it. And we'll go to the dashboard for Unraid. And you'll see it's got quite a high bit rate. So actually, let me do this. Let me start with the Synology server. Find the same movie. take it off screen and I'll start it fresh and I'll play with the um, different transcoding options. You have an informational message. Let's switch back to the dashboard for the right server first. Okay, so you see it started up very quickly. No issues really. So I'm going to drop it down to a 320 KBS per second transcode. All right, it didn't take that long. And now we'll change it to a 720 kilobytes per second. Didn't take that long, now it's 1.5 megabits per second. It's doing good, and you can see that we've been having a hardware transcode so far. So now we're going to do two megabits per second, 720p. Didn't take that long. Three megabits per second, 720p. Still respectable, four megabits per second, 720p. Now the audio is not hardware transcoding, but the video is. Now we're up to 8 megabits per second 4K. Took a little longer to start up. 10 megabits per second. Twelve 
and finally 20. And now back to its original size. So everything's quite respectable. All right, so let's go to the Unraid server and do the same test. And off screen, I'll move to that library and find the same movie. Now again, the media is in one place on, on the Synology NAS. The Unraid server is looking back at that. So let's start at original. And let's go down to the 320 kbps. And you'll notice how it's starting a little quicker. Now 720 kilobytes per second. Again, really instantaneous, 1.5 megabits per second, 2 megabits per second, 3, 4, 8, 10, 12, 20, 93, well, the original. So as you can see, everything is just that much smoother on a better processor. But would it be worth it to run Plex on something else? I don't know if it really would, but I'm sure that I can add a few more family and friends to this new Unraid server without having to worry who uses what device. I don't have a lot of transcoding on my server. My 4K library is small. I don't share it with anybody. All my movies, or the majority of my movies, are encoded with H.264 at the 1080p level at a respectably smaller bitrate size, three to five megabits per second. My TV shows are split between 720p and um, 1080p and generally the bit rate can get higher six seven eight on those but some are low around two or three also so my server does fine with my users but i really like to experiment and i think i've accomplished something pretty cool with this specialized unraid install again that doesn't use an array drive besides a flash drive to fool Unraid into starting so I can have my cache pools. And this is where the Docker containers reside and live. And of course, here's my boot drive for Unraid. And the next thing to figure out is my channel's DVR install. I can't come up with a right volume mappings to record back to a, a folder or a share on my Synology NAS that's kicking my butt right now and also if I enable live TV in this Plex container I can't record back to my Synology NAS from the Unraid box. Um, I think I've got permissions on correctly wherever they need to be switched on but it's as if I'm in read only mode. So that's, that's a later problem to solve. So far, this Plex container has been a dream. And it's also pretty easy to set up compared to the Synology NAS. You put your pass in, and what else do I do? I point this to the cache, and boom, you've got your container going. With, um, Hardware acceleration on the Synology NAS, I had to use Portainer to add in the um, device driver line in order to enable hardware transcoding in that container. Not hard, not unsummarable, but it's just easier in Unraid. So Unraid gets um, 
some accolades for being an easier platform for Docker, at least in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and I just wanted to show off the new Unraid server a little bit. I think it's a beast. But honestly, the old Synology NAS server does pretty well too. Thanks for watching.